I wrote a book uh, called Playground, A Childhood Lost Inside the Playboy Mansion, and it's all about basically growing up with my father, who is Hefner's, you know, one of his best friends for 40 years, and, you know, growing up as a child and having my own room there growing up, and just all the crazy, fun, magical, good times, bad times, you know, journey of, like, you know, being six years old all the way up to, like, um, college and then back again. It's a pretty unique experience. It's like Eloise at the plaza in a unique sort of setting. What are your best memories? My best memories, honestly, are the parties. It was insane, incredible, fun parties, just everyone connecting on such a spiritual, I mean, it doesn't seem like it would be a spiritual level, but it really was because everyone was like free, without judgment, without, you know, societal concerns. And a lot of people who were probably really conservative about like their sexuality or whatnot were able to be free in this setting. So I think there was a lot of, you know, positive things that haven't really, you know, also come to life. There was, you know, the good and the bad. I, I would have to agree with that. Yeah. There's a beauty to it, too. Like, yeah. There's a lot of beauty. There was a lot of beauty, and there's a lot of um, incredible fun times, and there's the family element. You know, I mean, many of these people I've known my whole life, and it really was like a family. I miss the Christmas dinners, miss the Thanksgiving, you know, miss the eggnog and the, you know, the Frank Sinatra. It was, it was pretty incredible. That is so cool. And you got to meet all sorts of celebrities. Yeah. Like everyone who was who's who in Hollywood. Yeah, it was, it was pretty unique. Being a kid, you know, in a candy store, not only with all the animals and it's just such an incredible experience, but just all the people. It was very decadent, lots of, you know, beautiful outfits and, you know, incredible personalities, larger than, everyone was larger than life. And it was, you know, I, I, I do, I remember very distinctly being a kid and watching over the banister and, you know, always sort of like, you know, spying on everyone below as they were partying and wishing that one day I could go and join the party. Was there anyone that you maybe had a celebrity crush on that you saw there? I don't think there was anyone specifically that I had a crush on. No, I really just had a crush on it. It was just fun to see everyone and to connect with so many people. And it was just to, and to feel so free of like judgment, I think. And just like having fun, just running around and having fun.